quickly share a few moments of our recent Mississippi cruise on a steamboat down to Mississippi. Karen and Wendy had a great time, and we hope you enjoy this short video of our vacation. So we start off our vacation inside the Memphis Pyramid, and we're going to go to the top of the pyramid and try to take some pictures. This is pretty impressive stuff. They have an indoor lake. It's a Bass Pro Shop. If you look on YouTube, look up the history of the Memphis Pyramid. It's extremely interesting. It was a basketball court at one time. The world famous Bass Pro Shop Alligators. Very cool. This is some cool place. The fish are hungry in the Bass Pro Shop. This is some place, unbelievable place. The Memphis Pyramid. We're on the second level here and there's stuffed bears and wolves and there's a restaurant of types way up on top of the pyramid. Since this is early in the morning, I don't think we're gonna be going to eat, but this is, this is an amazing, amazing place. If you're ever in Memphis, don't miss the pyramid. In the convention center, the biggest statue of Elvis Presley I've ever seen. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. They call this the Dolly Parton Bridge, but I don't know why. I just can't figure out why they would call that the Dolly Parton Bridge. We had this great tour of Memphis and this gal has been singing for three hours on a bus singing Elvis songs for us and she's going to do one in the amphitheater here I think. So we've arrived at our destination. smokestacks that get lowered you can see the hydraulics here they're a couple of hundred feet high they get lowered so we can go under some of the bridges Of course, we stayed up and had entertainment in the main lounge until uh, who knows what. Got up. I get up early. I just wanted to see what was going on out on the river, and I was I was amazed. Not many people are out early. The action on the river. These barges and steamboats and boats like the one we were on were going past us, and we were passing them, and barges were passing us. And there's so many interesting things. Now they do let you down in the engine room, and they do they give you a complete detail of how these smokestacks get lowered because otherwise they don't fit under the bridge. Getting ready to go on a B.B. King tour to the B.B. King Museum in Indianola, Mississippi. When that sound, when that sound moves through the air, it's like you can't get it anymore. So at the end of our tour of the BB King Museum, which was just great, and we learned a lot about it. And because our daughter Stacy is a musician, it has a lot of meaning to us. And he's actually buried right behind the museum. Really, really a good presentation. Next stop on a tour is the world famous Club Ebony.
leaving Grainville and back on the Mississippi. The sunset was just absolutely beautiful. I just couldn't couldn't resist taking some pictures pretty much every night. Wednesday morning, we wake up and we're already in the town of Vicksburg. Vicksburg, oh, there it is, Vicksburg, Mississippi. There's an awful lot of Civil War stuff here. Another looks like it's going to be another beautiful day in the 90s. Before we go into Vicksburg, I wanted to see what this, this paddle wheel looked like when it's not moving and splashing water around. This, this is really impressive. Now we're in Vicksburg, and this is, look at where the boat is. And this is where the flood marks are up here. Look at the flood marks. If levees had held various years, they'd be flooded out here. And we're headed into Vicksburg. In Vicksburg, there's some old cabooses down there. Look at these. It's a BB King wall. The whole wall of the levee is painted. Very cool. We're looking at the church in Vicksburg that has some real Tiffany windows in it. And they just had a nice little tour of how, how valuable and beautiful these windows are. A little interesting history is the the original minister of the church was a whaling captain and when they built the church 1860 to get this to the top of the church he put it on his back and climbed up the roof and that's how they, that's the original church the original cross they still have in the garden of the church interesting so we're beautiful cruising around beautiful downtown Vicksburg Every part of Vicksburg is on a hill. Shopping for souvenirs, so much fun. <laughs> I need a t-shirt. My friends won't believe I've ever been to Vicksburg. Now I didn't notice, but the uh, Union Army shelled Vicksburg for two years and the cannonballs went in into the town three miles away and were destroying buildings. But interesting little stuff in Vicksburg, the official Coca-Cola Museum. You think we should go in and have a Coca-Cola? In the Vicksburg Train Museum here, oh, they got an operating train, uh, several operators. What else they have here? Looks like about a hundred ship models. More train layouts in every gauge. Oh, model airplanes up on a wall. Wow, very nice. Very cool. Very interesting city, Vicksburg. Pretty cool little museum. Now this diorama has, looks like thousands of little soldiers depicting the, uh, the Civil War battles. Pretty elaborate. Pretty cool with all the little bunkers and things. Very detailed. And we went to this little Vicksburg this little railroad museum. Had a lot of historic stuff, a lot of ship models, a lot of little train layouts. 
One of the really nice things about this tour is they have these buses that come and they're all part of the tour, of course. There's buses from several different tours. This is not one of ours. Ours is painted up like a, like a boat. Pretty neat. Now, this is pretty neat. Notice the difference between our bus. This is one from our tour. It's, it's painted up. Look at this. It's painted up just like a boat. And they have five of these that follow the ship. Everywhere you go, there's five buses to take you everywhere. I'm back on a ship, and boy, the ship is loaded with every piece of furniture is an antique. Let's look at some of the nice stuff around here. Just beautiful. The fireplaces are all real. Now we're up on the fifth floor. Getting ready for uh, the evening, the afternoon siesta. Is the pool, nice pool here, but most people are still out on their tours. Way for a kid to signal. If a kid wants to hear a train or a semi truck or this, he does not give the button signal. <laughs> <laughs> does that right there? That's how you get a whistle blown. So watch out there. Yep. Get your cameras if you're ready. <coughs> Are y'all ready? Yeah. Watch. Can't see. I'm warming up slow. Wow. We're going to be going under a bridge tonight, so I hope I can get the, uh, the pictures of the stacks getting lowered. Oh, it's pretty cool to think that to get onto some of these bridges, they have to lower those stacks. That's kind of a big deal. Here's the tug going by. As soon as he leaves, he gets by, we're going to be turning the boat around and leaving Vicksburg. So this is the steam calliope that they're going to do a little, uh, it's like a steam organ. It's in the back of the boat as they leave the dock. They're gonna play us a tune. Yeah, but I mean, the whistles are way up there, so. Yeah. Is it louder up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those suckers are loud, man. Well, you're so many things that were on my bucket list that I never got to do because basically the uh, Trans-Canada Railroad went out of business by the time I got ready to go. I wanted to make sure I didn't lose this on my bucket list as fewer and fewer ships every year and you can imagine the trolley cars, things you turn around and you missed your opportunity to do or see something. I wanted to get some footage of them lowering the smokestacks to go under the Vicksburg the bridge in Vicksburg and what's going to happen is I, I found out at one of the uh, seminars here only this stack is hooked to the engine the one on the other side the steam boiler the one on the other side is only hooked where they burn garbage so what happens at some time one, sm one stack will be black and one will be white with a burning cardboard here we go they're going down I guess they do one at a time I'm trying to capture all the activity that goes on on this boat. It, there's something, the itinerary is very busy. There's something every hour. 
tonight. Virtually every night you have a Broadway show, and they are professional shows. I don't think they want us taking video at the, at the performance and so. Look at this, how it's going down. Is that pretty cool? Everybody's excited about this. How's that, Karen? Pretty cool? Yeah, it's pretty neat, huh? Now also, the pilot house goes down too. Pilot house can be lowered, but then he can't see where he's going, so they walk out here to steer the ship from out here. That's what we were told at this morning's seminar. Okay, so one stack is down. And this is the one that really is connected to the boiler. In fact, you can see this one isn't as dirty. This one really is dirty. Here we go. Very cool stuff. So the other one from the other side? Very, yeah. No, no, I can see it from here. It was very cool. Right after this, we're going to go for dinner. We gave up our our reserved dinner seating. We got a private table. We don't have a private table now. We're 15 minutes late. Oh man, that's cool. That is really cool. Now with the stacks down, we'll be able to go under the bridge. And as soon as we go under the bridge, we're gonna go get something to eat. We, we eat about eight meals a day. Food is un unlimited and we're taking advantage of it. I wanted to show this too. This is a private cabin here. This fella has the whole front of the ship. It's a private thing. <laughs> Very cool. So he gets to see the front of the smokestacks. You can see it's the left stack that's running the boiler right now. They're burning diesel fuel. As we're getting ready to go under the bridge, coming up on that, it looks like the hotel has extended itself in a way that makes it look like it's a riverboat. Pretty cool. I assume that's a hotel or something. Here's an interesting little tidbit. As we go up river, miles an hour and down river there's the train going over as we go underneath that's a that's a very rare shot wow how cool is that and there's the lovely mrs. Ertnowski and we're getting to get ready to go to have another delicious meal wow we are having the time of our life that is really something And now the only thing left is, we're not gonna stay for it, is to raise the stacks. When you're on these river cruises, you have to drink iced tea by the gallon. Now every night there's a Broadway show. Tonight is the Bobby Darren show. And we are waiting, this is on the way to Natchez. Tomorrow when we wake up, we'll be in Natchez. All throughout the ship, there's, I think, priceless antiques and a lot of the lounges, but they have these oil paintings of the history, and they're, they're everywhere. I had no idea about this. It was very, every painting has a history of showing where they were and um, the history of the boat that's in the picture. Some of these were just beautifully done oil paintings, and 
as I looked at them, I was just thinking, wow, just, just the oil painting collection alone could be in a museum. But interesting because I was not aware of how this whole thing evolved and how, how popular these boats were at one time on the Mississippi. It, they were everywhere. And the technology at the time, they were burning wood and burning coal and burning a who knows what. But you can see these older boats the, in the pictures. They're blowing smoke out of boat stacks. So I have a feeling they weren't burning diesel fuel. Anyway, beautiful artwork all throughout the whole ship. Just made it more interesting. So after a great Bobby Darren show, sunset on the Mississippi. Tomorrow's Natchez? Natchez, yes. Tomorrow's Natchez. Well, this morning we're in Natchez and uh, another ship, the American Duchess is here, another riverboat. We're going to be going on a plantation tour after we have a delicious breakfast. They're getting ready to go on our Natchez tour, Natchez, Mississippi. And what do they call us? The Rosalie Mansion in Natchez. It's part of the original trade way. When these traders came to town and traded their wares under the hill, they had to get back home somehow. They traded everything they had. Usually they came down the river on Cuba and they even traded their boat for the wood. Uh, flood stage is 48 feet. And when we have flood stage, the lower part of where you, your boat is located now is typically underwater if it floods. We're here to see a really historic frog moor is the name of it. It's a plantation. They grow cotton. We're going to see how the whole process works. The lid flies to the back and is moved by air to the pressing area. Our clerk in the office right here, the glass in office that you saw in our... Getting ready to leave Natchez, Mississippi. Funny, but on the way to Baton Rouge, we're due to be in Baton Rouge at lunchtime, they had a little emer a medical emergency and had to pick somebody up and take them to the hospital. After a short stop for the emergency, just north of Baton Rouge, we're headed to Baton Rouge, should be there uh, around lunchtime. Now, as we're coming into Baton Rouge, Virtually everywhere you look, there's some oil tanker barge, something going by. River traffic. So we're entering the, uh, the actually the port of St. Charles. It's really Baton Rouge. I got them all confused today. Didn't have enough coffee. Some of the other river boats are in port. We're going to go see the destroyer. That's on our list on our tour. Some more river boats are here. I had no idea at the beginning of this tour how prolific this type of steam wheel, uh, stern wheeler was. It's uh, something I'm going to try to do a little research on. And of course, I love to visit military vessels. So uh, we're going to have a busy afternoon here in Baton Rouge, not St. Charles. And part of this adventure is on the way here we passed endless amounts of barges being towed with fertilizer and stone and coal and there's oil tank barges. It's just a super busy area. What's amazing to watch, and I've watched it four or five times already, is the crew that gets ready to dock the boat, see what they have to do to have the boat 
a, an area they have to be in. All these ropes and anchors and things to go. Pretty labor-intensive thing to get one of these river boats docked. Now this steamboat, you can see the wheel is already moving. He's pulling away. And we're going to be pulling into that spot. And then the first stop on our tour is going to be the USS Kid, number 661. This is what's nice, when you're on a riverboat, you're never too far from the attractions. Karen wants to know if they're going to let her drive the boat. <laughs> you're open, huh? Seeing this makes you really appreciate what the people in World War II went through. This is some macho thing here, baby. So glad we did this, and thank you to everyone for your military service. Debarking Baton Rouge. Next stop, St. Francisville. Last thing we see as we leave Baton Rouge, <coughs> tallest capital building in the United States. <laughs> we all get out of prison tomorrow. <laughs> photos with our friends here. We met some really sweet people on this trip. And if they don't behave, we're going to throw them into the paddle wheel. <laughs> here we are in the evening just before our next Broadway show. Broadway show every night on the American Queen. Uh, oh my god, hanging out with friends, drinking unlimited free pina coladas. Sunset on the Mississippi after a great Broadway show. They have a great Broadway show every night. Anyway, tomorrow, St. Francisville. After another great Broadway show. Boy, yeah, just one right after another. Today's little journey is going to be through the small town of St. Francisville. Look at how the river has risen here. The trees look like they're growing out of the water. As we're going into St. Francisville, there's some local people cooking fish, right? Catching fish and cooking fish right on the dock here. You'll see the Spanish influence of this house with the ironwork on the front porch. But this is Myrtle Plantation. And you have wonderful rec room facilities. I enjoyed getting out on the uh, the deck after dark, after the Broadway show every night, and 
look around at uh, the scenery, try to shoot some video, try to shoot some still pictures, so that I'd have memories of this vacation and memories actually to share with you if you're still watching this. Notice the spray from that wheel. Wow, I'm getting a, a shower up here. Great being out on the deck at night. Nice and cool. Now this morning we're in the town of Nottaway to see the plantation. Bright sunny day. Now we're in Nottaway. The ship is in the harbor. We're standing on a levee. And this is the plantation we're going to be taking a tour of. Right on the Mississippi. Now it's supposed to rain later today, so we're gonna we're on the early tour. Wow, everything is so lush here. Boy, could I could I store a lot of motorcycles in here? Could have the lower level for restoration. <laughs> And you can see, just like Wendy, this has historic plates. Interesting side note, since I usually make motorcycle videos, there was virtually no motorcycles. I didn't see one motorcycle on this whole tour. So finally, the first rain since we've been here on the last day. Getting a little rain, a little thunder. Hurricane Karen. Into every life a little rain must fall. Actually, it rained for about a half an hour here. Ah, back on the boat for lunch. It's funny, when we left the boat this morning, Captain Nemo said, no chance of rain whatsoever. No chance of rain, sir. You might notice only one stack is smoking. That's pretty cool. I guess they're not burning garbage, but it's really cool to see them put those stacks down. Another nice Broadway show. We miss the sunset. Tomorrow morning we'll be in New Orleans. So we wake up this morning, the last day of our trip, and we are in, we're in New Orleans. It looks like we're right in the middle of downtown here anyway. Anyway, this is the last stop on our trip. We did make some good friends on this trip. But as always, it's always, we're always looking forward to being back home in Rutherford. Ports! Yeah! Do you know a little further up from New Orleans? We have one of those freeze plants where they freeze those chicken ports. People here in the United States like white meat. This cathedral right there, the St. Louis Cathedral, is the second most photographed building in all of the United States. Go to the cemetery, Esplanade Avenue is where the Creoles build their large houses. Now look over here on your right hand side. This is their Main Street. And this is where on Oak Street each year they have the Poor Boy Festival. You know we have 70 different festivals here and let you get off of the coach, stretch your legs out, and we're going to give you a coupon for beignets and Cafe Olay. Of course, most cultures have a fried dough. Oz is the um. Time for some New Orleans beignets and some of their local coffee. So part of this tour is you get free beignets. I know my son Craig will love, love seeing these. Karen was wanting to try the alligator sausage, but instead we decided to just order beignets.
wanted to record this for our good friend Marianne, who is a uh, a very religious woman and prays to Padre Pio regularly and has prayed on our behalf regularly. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you, Padre Pio. Now, as we visit the cemetery, we've learned so much. And there's, there's sometimes a hundred people in each one of these. They just put them right one on top of the other, I guess. But very, very interesting. They do not bury the bodies below ground here in New Orleans. And Hippoville will travel all around Louisiana, decide the best place to put the capital of Louisiana is in Biloxi because all of this is low ground. And that's how the million dollar pumps they built those after Hurricane Katrina, and they were gone. Oh. So they had to build the billion dollar pumps right past those, those ones now that they built. So, it so after seven days of really, really good fun, good food, made some new friends, had some fun, it's time to get back on a plane and go back and see our family. They're going to meet us at the airport, and, and hopefully uh, we'll all be happy and have great memories. Okay, this is the uh, Miles Airport Pickup Service. What do you say? Did you miss us? Except cash only? Except cash Except for cash tips? Only. Cash only. <laughs> okay, load them up, boss. Oh. Load them up. Don't fall down. Oh. Oh, let me do the big one first. Now, Karen and I have so many great memories from this trip. And by the way, if you want to look up the Memphis period, the history of the Memphis period on YouTube, it was a basketball stadium. It was several other things. It was in bankruptcy. And these river boats, they're wonderful vacations and all the little side trips, especially seeing at BB King Museum. So thank you guys so much for watching.